Good evening and welcome to our service of night prayer with a short reflection. Let's begin our worship this evening. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Let's now in a few moments reflect on the day that's passed. Let's collect our thoughts, the events of the day, the people we've met, the matters that are concerning us perhaps. Let's bring it all now to our Heavenly Father and give them to Him as we come to the end of this day. Holy God, we confess to you before the company of the faithful in heaven and on earth that we have sinned against you, against one another, and against your creation. Forgive us in your mercy. Help us to forgive each other and to hold in reverence all that you have made. Amen. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Amen. Our psalm this evening is Psalm number 42, and we only be sharing the first uh, seven verses of Psalm 42. As the deer longs for the water brooks, so longs my soul for you, O God. My soul is a thirst for God, even the living God. When shall I come before the presence of God? My tears have been my bread day and night, while all day long they say to me, Where now is your God? Now when I think on these things I pour out my soul. How I went with the multitude, and led the procession to the house of God. With a voice of praise and thanksgiving among those who kept holy day. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? O put your trust in God, for I will yet give him thanks, who is the help of my countenance, and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And now for a short reflection this evening. Not sure just how many of you saw Captain Tom receive his knighthood from the Queen, holding fast to his Zimmer frame. But we've all heard about his tenacity, his commitment to walk the length of his backyard to raise funds for the NHS. He was undaunted when his fame rose and the pressure came to complete the hundred lengths for his hundred years. 
All of us, as we saw him in television, admired his character of commitment, of determination for the cause of the NHS, which has proved so, so successful. Today, we also remember Mary Magdalene in the calendar of the church, a faithful and resolute follower of Jesus, who followed him throughout his ministry, indeed with other women too, and they provided for the needs of Jesus as he went on his itinerant ministry all through Palestine. These women were obviously reasonably well off, and of course, Mary Magdalene, as we read in the scriptures, had a wonderful healing from our Lord Jesus that brought her into his fellowship. In the scriptures, Mary Magdalene is mentioned 12 times, even more than some of the apostles. But most wonderfully, she is the witness to the crucifixion of Jesus. Never ran away like all the other disciples. And indeed, a witness to his resurrection, and as we know, the first to be at the empty tomb, and then to meet Jesus there. As we read in Scripture, Mary was one of those very special followers of Jesus, tenacious, committed, devoted to him, followed him wherever he went, provided for all his needs, and she learnt much from him and was faithful to him. A good example as we remember her today. Now in Psalm 42, as we heard a few moments ago, we read of the longings for the streams that quench our thirst, a longing for the living God. The psalmist speaks of tears and reproach that we suffer as a result of others who taunt us. Where now is your God? Remaining committed, sticking to the task, can be tough. It certainly was for Captain Tom, or shall we say, Sir Captain Tom. Or, as we can say, for Mary and her devotion to our Lord Jesus. When it gets hard, we can be so easily cast down, tempted to give up. But the psalmist encourages us in those simple, lovely words, Hope in God, for I will praise him yet. We all face trials in this life of one kind or another, but keeping Jesus as our focus and our eyes fixed on him, we will be helped and strengthened for the challenges to come. I know and have spoken to a number of people over recent weeks who are finding these days very difficult and hard, cut off from loved ones, from social engagement. I hope we will all take encouragement from the story of Captain Tom, from Mary, from Mary Magdalene, not to be cast down, but to be hopeful in receiving those streams of living water that will refresh us, that will strengthen us, and indeed will comfort us and renew us in our faithful discipleship of Jesus our Lord. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wing. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Amen.
And now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you from the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and the sleep may rest in peace. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose most son, whose son restored Mary Magdalene to health of mind and body, and called her to be a witness to his resurrection, forgive our sins and heal us by your grace, that we may serve you in the power of his risen life, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Lighten our darkness, Lord, we pray, and in your mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. As we come now to the ending of this day, as our Saviour taught us, so we now pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May the risen Lord Jesus bless us. May he watch over us and renew us as he renews the whole of creation. May our hearts and lives echo his love this day and always. Amen. Good night and sleep well. <laughs>